Hey, all you rusty freaks. Hang on a minute before we start. This is pretty good, I think, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for this. It's good for me. Wonder what Pax's bases looked like last wipe. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't normally like corny shit like that. But I'm doing a big computer cleanup and um, that clip has to go. But I thought I'd use it one last time. Anyway, um, no idea if the average viewer wants to see how I lived the last wipe. But I know I want a record of my bases. It's one of the main reasons I even started making videos. To have a record of my bases. So even if you're not particularly keen on bases and what I had this wipe, um, some were weird and curious and funny. Um, there's definitely a tip or two hidden in this video. So until then, I'll uh, link my most important base building videos here now, up there on the right. It's a two-part video series. If you really don't want to watch this, then go watch those because you'll and learn the secret to my unbelievable survivability. How I'll make it through wipe after wipe after wipe without getting raided. Okay, the rest of you, sit back, relax, and enjoy a chilled out tour of my bases this wipe. I feel like I'm about to get raided, and since all my bases are just one stone wall away from loot or TC, I want to quickly do a base tour. Um, and I think I'll start it with where I started. So this was my starter base. It's basically just my usual sausage base with a drop down to shotgun traps except this time I added a shop which is this section here and is separate from the base. You can't get to it from the base. You gotta open up the back. Yeah baby! It's monitored by a auto turret. All wipe I've been selling rows and rows of stone for 14 scrap and people have been buying it up because it's so cheap. After I put this base down I believe I yeah I think I took this over that was probably someone's starter base that they'd abandoned. This is where I keep my horsies. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus. Alrighty. Alrighty. Then, this base either got raided or decayed, which is perfect. You know I like an old decayed or raided base to take over, because it's very unlikely that it's going to get raided again. Look at that, I've got a tier 3 in here. Oh, look at those gear sets. Oh, look at those guns. Oh, what's that? An M2? Oh, LRs, Bolties. Keep in mind I'm a solo on a vanilla server. Yes, I'm bragging. <laughs> it's been a good wipe. That's cheetah loot, by the way. Now, I've kind of screwed this base tour up because I didn't go inside my starter. So I just told you about the shop. I discovered a trap. I'll show you that in a separate video, probably. So yeah, it's just my usual, typical drop-down. There's a... I, um generator for any electrics I want to do. Check that out. I'm filthy rich. What's going on? Oh look, an M2. Oh look, more LR. I just lost an LR, otherwise there would have been two LRs there. Oh look at that, nice gear sets. Oh, rich, 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 rich. Oh. oh, so far, did you notice the gunpowder? And I just used um, 3C4. 
the only thing about having electrics in this tiny little triangle is that it makes it awkward to jump out. That's just a trick to it, you got to know how. Now, then I built this farm base. It's the first time I've tried to do a proper berry farm. I mean, of course I've tried to have planters inside a base before, but this time I've tried to do it with light that's always on and a sprinkler system and as you can see it's stopped working because this barrel isn't full. See what's happened is I've had to manually top it up with these water things because I only had one water catcher on the roof. Now water catchers apparently are the worst way to do it. You really want to do it at a river or a you know a swamp or something. There that one's connected. So I placed all these others and I'm going to try and connect them all together and hopefully that lets it run automatically then I took over that base which was going I was going to use it as a place to hide loot using that system where you hide stashes underneath a deployable item and that deployable item was going to be that large fireplace but I did it wrong I, uh, you, you need to place the stash bags before you make the foundation into stone and um, yeah, so I just gave it to a friend. Then there was a little... I think it's... It was one by... Yeah, it was one by two with a triangle attached. So I took that over too. Yes, that's an armoured door. All the, arm, all the doors inside my... Start, oh, look, another tier three. Armoured as well. Oh, look at that. More full metal kits. Oh, more full metal kits? More bolties and more LR? What? Oh, look at that. Oh, another rocket launcher. What, Paxis? Do you have night vision goggles in every base? I sure do. Are you guys counting how many bases I've got? <laughs> okay, th right about that time I decided I want a car. So I built a garage, but it went wrong. I wanted to be able to just drive up this hill and straight in, but then I, the ramp wouldn't place. So I had to have the entrance here. And there's the car hoist. I don't have a car at the moment because um, it was a pain in the ass and I preferred flying and, and riding horses. There's a chair for getting health. Stacked. As you can see, I am. Oh, look at that. Another AK. Oh, look at that. Another LR. Another AK set. Another AK. Oh, and the first time I've ever had this camera system thing in store. You don't need any electricity for that. That's something I didn't know. <laughs> the new recorder. Check it out. My very own disco. Then, um, oh, there was another base here, but it was within my TC, so I let it go. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got a small refinery there. All right. Oh, yeah. I didn't actually finish the proper... That You might have heard me say that was a 1 by 2 and then you said, but what are you talking about, Paxis? It's got a whole, b whole other back end. So I decided about week two that it was time to get a mini copter and that's when I attached this and I immediately regretted it for two reasons one I promised myself I'd never not make another heli base that's only one you know one foundation wide but I did and it's annoying and two never have a downward slope that's really annoying but yeah there's my mini copter Yeah, I'll often just fly out and just leave the doors open. I mean, there's nothing in there except that hammer and a tiny bit of metal frags and um, uh, that box. Okay, another thing I did almost immediately as well. I can't remember if I built this or took it over. That's my monument, my main monument, the train yard. So I'm always running there. 
Now, I like to have these what I call stepping stone bases. From a place I run to all the time, I want to have places of safety I can duck into if I'm being chased. So I've got this little base here. Since it d I didn't bother with an airlock, it has this trap guarding it. Yeah, a decent amount of stuff in here. Some guns and uh, some kits. What's in there? Oh, yeah, with... Much later, um, some kid decided to build here, which is far too close, and they only had one wooden door on, so of course I'm going to take that over. There's nothing in here, it's just a stepping stone place to duck into if I get chased. Um, I was going to do this in the order that I built it, but it, the video is going to go too long. If I do so, I'm going to show you the last base I built now. I was worried because these kids moved in right next door that were attracting a lot of attention. And I figured all my bases were going to get raided, so I built a fair bit further away. That, that, and that's it. I don't normally have two ways up to my little sausage drop downs, but that one has a second way up. As usual, the drop-down shotgun traps thing. Don't have a tier 3 for this one. Ah, strange. Oh, look at that. More stuff. Oh, look at that. Another balti. Oh, another rocket launcher. Another rock grenade launcher. Let me just put another log in there. Oh! And how many are we up to now, people? How many bases do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think ten. We're going to the tenth one now. <laughs> I had one uh, over there. We are here now. I had one east of launch site. But it got raided when I tried to help my friend who was being raided near there. And they followed him to my little base. with Using ESP because he went to sleep in there with his loot. This I built just yesterday. Because I like to have... Two minicopters! <laughs> now this should be a, a tips video all in itself. You can save a tremendous amount of space by combining horse with minicopter because you can park your minicopter right up to the back of the horse's legs. And that is the end of my tour. There's nothing worth showing in here. It's just got a, a dummy room for no reason. And this in here to um, upkeep the minicopter. Peace, love, and mung beans. Oh, maybe I'll just talk about where I am and why I built here. So, you know I love launch site. I would have chosen to build closer to Outpost and Bandit. So, somewhere around here would have been my first choice. But I think I just found these decayed bases and it was perfect timing. Alright. Texas Texas. Have a look at this. <laughs> I had to build a quick heli base, and this is what I came up with. I wanted it to be as small as possible. I'll take you on a quick tour inside. 
And we have uh, Armored Door, in case people get angry at us and decide they want to raid us. Got two auto turrets, which can be turned on and off here. Got level number one, accessed by a ladder hatch. Sort of a half level, accessed by a jump. This is where we drop down once it rockets. Another ladder hatch to the shooting floor. And we even have roof access, where we have a windmill powering the auto turrets. That's it. Peace, love, and mung beans. Practice out. Oh, say hello. This is a shout out to Stinky. I mean to Sniper Gang. There's Sniper Gang. Wave Sniper Gang. Don't fart.